So what's going on, everybody? Um, basically, we are at DEF CON 5 right now. Not sure if you guys know, but the real first bit of news dropped for NBA 2K19. And I feel like this is the every year thing from 2K, which all of us should respect at this point because their game plan has never changed since, I would have to say, maybe 2K15, maybe 2K16. Their game plan hasn't changed. They've done the same thing the same exact way every single year for the last couple years. Now, the news is my GM and my league has dropped the entire news cycle, blog, video, everything. So check this out. If you don't know who Brian Mazik is, I call I still call him Franchise Play because that's his YouTube channel. But he is a writer for Forbes. He used to be a writer with Bleach Report. And this dude did a full interview with Eric Benish. Yes, the senior producer for 2K. But my thing is... How does he keep getting all these nice, dope interviews, bro? I need, man, Brian, a franchise. Hit me up, bro. Yeah, you you my end, bro. You my plug, bro. I need all the info before it drops so I can make my videos prior to yours. Listen, I'll schedule them. Just let me know the info. So a lot of people might remember my old association with the MyGM thing with Sam Hinky and all of that. It was a pretty fun little time, you know what I'm saying, that I had. But I really never dove into the actual mode itself. I never tried to recreate or simulate or even try to relate to anything that the actual NBA had going on. I never wanted to view it from my eyes, a different path that the NBA could have went, whether it be this year, last year, decades ago, the future. I've never thought about it. All I have been focused on since about 2K10 is all about my player. That's all I've really been focused on. Then they changed it to my career. That's really been it for me, man. I've been playing a lot of park, a lot of pro-am this year lately. But for me, my GM in my league was never really the thing. But what we do get from these interviews is a lot of, I won't call them gems. I will call them bullet points to things that can make my career better. Things that can make that mode that we love so much that we grind so many hours in because 2K makes us grind, grind, grind. Before we hop into it, I want you guys to go inside the description, click on the first link that you see. It is a link to the actual full article with the interview from Brian Mazik with Eric Benish. But let's talk about it. The first thing that you guys might see is how some of the My League and GM stuff have been revamped and redone and it's all about the slider starting off but i'm not going to talk about the slider you want to know why i don't believe that we as people that play my career will ever get a choice on how trades go we'll never get a choice on how player progression goes i just feel like we'll never be able to get that chance so i'm not even going to talk about it i'm not even going to stress it but what we can talk about is the new creative player feature now when i say new Guys, I need you to relate to me right now. Every time I say new, I need you guys to look back or go to Google. Just open up Google.com right quick and just have that open on the side of this tab of this video or even in a new window on your phone. So whenever I say something and I say new, I need you to Google it and let me know in the comment section, did 2K have it prior and are they just bringing it back? So let's talk about the new creative player feature. The first thing that I take from creative player option is that now you are able to fully customize, fully sculpt a player. Now, if they bring this over to my career, for all the people who have the face scan woes or the not being able to get your facial hair the right way or anything like that, can't get the sheets right, can't get the lighting right, can't figure out that you can just go out, stand outside, yes, leave your house, Stand outside, scan your face looking up at the sun, and look like a beautiful lit peach. And when I mean peach, because literally sunlight is not good. It's supposed to be just daylight. But back to what I was saying. You are able to fully sculpt your player, which means for all those people that don't like face scanning, but want to kind of get a pretty spot on player creation, or for people that may just want to create a player, such as, let's think, who's the biggest rap star right now? Drake. What if you want to have a Drake my career without PC mods? Maybe you might be able to create Drake with the face sculpting feature. So within that, they have added somewhat of 50 unique hair 
styles for your beard. I remember last year or the year before that, I think it maxed out at like 31. So now it says 50. So that means that they've added more to the library. Also for hair, you now can control your eyebrows. You can control the color of everything, which means if you want a pink beard, you can control it. If you want a purple hair, blue beard, yellow eyebrows, allegedly you can control all of that. And this is all in those my GM and my league games. But what if they bring this over to my career? I think it'll be hot. I think that they will bring it over because all it adds is to more players playing the game the way they want because it just gives them more options to create different styles, different things. Also, in the interview, Eric Benish said that people will be able to fix up the way that their fade is, their lines, lines in your head. Brian Mazik even said that you can put a Jumpman logo in your hair. Now, I'm not sure if this is like a barber style type of thing or if this is a preset determined logo, but I would probably be thinking maybe if you had, let's go with, you know, short dreads and you had a fade all around, but your fade was dark going light and then you had like a Sixers logo like right here on the back of your head. Probably be dope, right? Little logo. But I'm thinking, you know, three lines, two lines in your eyebrows trying to while out. Moving on. One big downside to this interview that I saw was that 2K19 just isn't there yet or may not get there with face masks, goggles, glasses, all of that jazz, right? As far as on regular players because they said that something with the face scan technology, the collision technology, whatever they use, it's just, it's not fitting to put masks and stuff on like that for players. So, I'm a little disappointed that if my player happens to get an orbital fracture or something like that, I won't be able to have a mask on. Or, I just won't be able to put the mask on and call myself Zoro the entire game. So, the second biggest thing that I've noticed is that with my GM, you can play the traditional my GM or you can play the saga continues with a little bit of storyline and stuff like that, which leads me to believe that storyline will be heavy in 2K. But what I do know is if they resonate what I've seen in this blog from my GM and being able to skip cutscenes and stuff like that, not being having to listen to all the conversations that happen between player, coach, GM, whatever the case may be. If you give us that option in career to skip whatever we have maybe seen before, it will make me absolutely freaking happy. With my GM, what I've noticed is with them actually extending the story to a part two, in a sense, it really makes me wonder, will my career go that route as well by keeping you as DJ immersed in this neighborhood that they built for NBA 2K18? Because in an article I read that they weren't happy with the way the product came out on 2K18. So what they've done is they fixed a lot of things that were wrong with 2K18 for 2K19 and that they're bringing the neighborhood atmosphere and hopefully, you know, not storyline, but bringing it all back. So I'm kind of concerned, but at the same time, I'm just wondering in my head, if my GM got a, a re-up, will, will my career do the same thing? You know what I mean? A little tidbit real quick. In my GM and hopefully other modes, they have a new way to show off the draft classes, right? So if you have a draft class, you know what type of player you may be getting in a certain play if you don't know that player in real life or if you just need a little bit of info on that player. Hopefully, they use that for my career because I would like to have some control. Like, you know how we have that team control? You get influence trades and stuff like that. What if we can influence drafts? Like, say I'm the point guard and I feel like, my backup point guard isn't as good. We may want to trade him away for some picks and stuff like that. I would kind of love to have a little bit of control over that in my career. But, hey, who's to say we can? Who's to say we can't? I just hope we could. What do you guys think in the comments? Probably the biggest news in this entire article and probably is going to be the top three biggest news points within this game if they bring this to my career is player mentorships so check this out say for instance right in my career remember when 2k18 dropped and this one dude came up to you and his name was shammy and he just was constantly getting on your nerves but he was trying to take you under his wing and he was trying to teach you the ways of the game as far as politics and you know how to 
deal with certain things on the court and deal with fame and deal with struggle and deal with defeat, deal with winning. He was trying to be your mentor, right? I feel like if they bring over player mentorships, right, and they say, okay, this is what we're going to do. When you get drafted, say, for instance, you don't go a high draft pick, so you go a low draft pick, right? And you happen to go to maybe, let's say, Golden State Warriors. You're a point guard. You know for a fact that you're not going to probably get in starting. What if that player could become your mentor? What if you could learn how to shoot from Steph Curry? What if you could learn the pick and roll like Steph Curry? What if you can learn everything that Steph Curry knows as a point guard? What if they brought mentorships to my career? I think that's a dope idea. I feel like player progression definitely would be up there. Now, they did explain if, say, for instance, Joel Embiid looked to J.J. Redick as a mentor, he wouldn't progress as much as he should because they're two different players. But what I'm saying is, if I'm a playmaking sharp, hey, Steph, what up? That's all I'm saying. Steph, what up? I need that in my life. Now, I don't know how it would play out. I don't know if all teams will have mentors and the player progression would just be out of whack, out of sync, because certain players would just be, I mean, boom. And like, say, for instance, I'd skip three years into the to the future, right? And all of a sudden, Ben Simmons is shooting like J.J. Redick just because I made him his mentor and he was already good in everything else. He was already good at ball handling already good at passing, already good at athleticism, and everything like that. But when it came to shooting, he had to learn that from Redick. And all of a sudden, he is OP. He is better than LeBron James. That might break the game. So, I mean, I'm all for it. It's just they might have to find out ways to tweak it if they do put it in my career. Just saying. New all-star format. When team captains have to pick their squads, I would love that for 2K19. I would love that for 2K19 just because of the simple fact that that's real now. That's something we got to deal with. It's something I had to be aware of because I was really like scared and B wasn't going to make it. Then I was scared and you know, you've seen what happened to Ben Simmons. So with that being said, I would like to see it because I want somebody to pick me. No, I don't want nobody to pick me. I want to be team captain. I want to pick my squad to go in up against the West or East, wherever I land. I know a lot of people like, bro, you're going to be a Sixer. It's already made up in your mind, but you never know. So let's talk about Summer League real quick, man. I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer. Summer League is something that has been missing from NBA 2K, my career series-wise, or even my player, for a long time. I need some type of summer league feel back. Please, 2K, you have all these training facilities. Why don't you put a scout in that training facility, go through your repetitions of, you know, bench press, squats, running, 40, what, whatever the case may be, jumping, uh, what is it, vertical, uh, anything, jumping, box jumping, all that. Run on the treadmill. It don't matter. Give it to us. Let us have that little scene right there. And we might be happy. Now, I notice in my gym and my league, they have something set up where with the summer league, you get to play some games up into a championship because that's how the summer league kind of is. You get a summer league trophy and you don't get going to the D league and you go to the NBA or you do go to D league. And just to speak about the G league, I'm sorry, new term. I would love that option because that used to be in a game where you, boy, you got to go until you get better. I would like that, actually. I mean, it would make people play the game when the game first dropped much more. You know what I mean? It would, it would let people know, like, okay, hold up. I got to invest myself in this game. I got to invest myself into getting a good grade, scoring, passing, the whole nine to get up out of this slump to make sure I make it to the NBA. Guys, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about. I wanted to skip a few topics and just jump right to this. Like topics like player DNA and stuff like that. That would be dope if we had create a legend and all that back. But I want to talk to you guys about on the fly lineups. Please 2K. For whatever options as far as play calling, whatever the case may be, we need on the fly lineup changes for my career. I know you guys don't want us to control it because we're kind of a player playing through a simulation, but I would love it if it's five minutes left in the game. I don't get subbed out. 
I make the call to say, hold up, we need a, a whole change right now because we're down three, we need a three, yet Reddick is sitting on a bench. And we got Ben Simmons running the two guard. I need changes, man. I need to be able to make that on the fly call change. Even if it it, it it makes me maybe sit down for like at least one minute, I'll take a one minute sit down. But please allow me to change my lineups on the fly because sometimes playing through my career, man, you just be playing with this lineup and you're like, bro, we aren't gonna we're not gonna come back. Um I got subbed out of halftime. We're down twenty, going into the fourth. I'm not going to win this unless I get my shooters. We got to get out on the break. You know, you, everything, all, all your, your gears are grinding. You're trying to figure out how to win, yet you can't change your lineup at all. I mean, I know these are all things that my GM and my league have because you're controlling everything. This is your immersive experience. But please, my career needs your help. And with that being said, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on notifications. I'll be reading your comments below, and it's your boy IKC signing out. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes, and this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.